going to tell you about the French, Russian and British Impressionists. I have chosen this theme because I am very interested in the uh, art of the 19th and the early 20th centuries. I would like to draw your attention uh, to the artists of the three countries. France, Oscar Claude Manet, Pierre Auguste Renoir, Russia, Karolin Konstantin Alexeyevich, Serov Valentin Alexandrovich, Grobar Igor Manoyevich, and Great Britain, Philip Wilson Steer, Walter Richard Sickert, and Wilfred Euphirst. Uh, also, you can see the genres. Um, I want to note that uh, the Impressionists worked uh, in different genres, from uh, landscapes and still life to uh, portrait and genre scene. Good afternoon, I'm Yuri Lazarev, 9th form, school 1208. I'm presenting my research work, one profession, different fields. Writer, second world war pilot. I mean Roald Dahl, a famous British writer, and uh, Mark Lazarevich Galai, a famous uh, Russian engineer, scientist, uh, head instructor of, uh, uh, cosmo of uh, the first cosmonaut training center, uh, the one who launched uh, the term uh, and uh, writer and poet. The work is dedicated to the victory in the Second World War and uh, the first manned uh, space flight anniversary. Let me start with an epigraph. Uh, some people, with, uh, when they have been taken too much and uh, have been driven beyond the point of endurance, simply uh, crumble and give up. Good afternoon, I'm Olga Sulevich and I'm presenting my project called British History in Central Moscow, A Virtual Guided Walk. Uh, it goes without saying that nowadays virtual excursions are really important because of the lockdown. The object of the research is uh, elements of uh, British history in Central Moscow. The subject is a virtual guided walk through some pages of uh, British history in Central Moscow. Uh, the problem is uh, the lack of knowledge uh, of close links between uh, our two countries and uh, inside our city and underestimation of these ties. The hypothesis is that a virtual guided walk uh, uh, through some places connected with Russian British history will attract today's adolescents by providing extra awareness, uh, uh, extra cultural awareness about our two countries. Hello everyone, my name is Ulyana Koptiva and today I'm going to present my project about moral values of Russian and English fairy tales. So culture is one of the things that should be safe for the whole life. Today there is indifference and a loss of interest of modern children in fairy tales. Traditional ways of transferring culture from parents to children are being destroyed, which ultimately leads to degradation. It's necessary to teach children culture and reading fairy tales. The goal of my project was to promote awareness of fairy tales value and the way they affect the upbringing and personality of children. And my objectives were to compare the consideration of character relationship in fairy tales, to define the similarities and the differences, 
and to develop flexibility of thinking, curiosity and direct children to personal growth. I'd like to present my product about dolls. Dolls have always been one of the most favorite toys throughout the history. They have been played by girls of all races and ages. Like many girls in the world, I like dolls too. In October, I visited Toy Museum in Sergio Fassad. It was an unforgettable trip. I got interested in the dolls which children from the Russian royal family had played, and I decided to know more about dolls their popularity and history. So, our study is determined by the following factors. The need to get acquainted with the history of dolls, the wish to find some similarities and differences between English and Russian dolls. The main objectives of my, my product are to learn what dolls were made from and were all like in different periods of history, to compare English and Russian dolls, to read about the most uh, popular dolls in England and Russia. Hi everybody, I'm going to present my research work, The Meaning of the River. Every country has its national river and Russia has the Volga, the longest river in Europe, the queen of rivers. If it is the queen, what river is the king? I decided to look at the map of the USA and find it out. So the relevance of my work is obvious, the need to get acquainted with the rivers and the wish to find some differences and similarities in meaning of rivers for nations. The question I raise are, how did the rivers get their name, where did they begin, uh, what is the depth, how wide are they, what's the relationship, and is there any reflection in culture of countries. And I hope my research has practical importance for other students.